Today we're going to make a Jeffrey Morgenthaler original cocktail. It's called the Kingston Club. My name is David Edwards and it's great to have you here today. Now the Kingston Club was originally going to be called the Brixton Club, but you know, when Jeff was figuring out this cocktail, he decided on the Kingston Club and a pure classic in Seattle was born. Now it's an interesting cocktail with some interesting flavors and it's sort of tiki-esque when I say it that way because not only does it have a little bit of pineapple and lime juice to give us some of those citrus flavors, we also get some herbaceous notes from our Fernet Branca and our Grand Buick. Now, before we get into it, this video is sponsored by the Vector Bar Mixology app for the iPhone. And this is a shaken cocktail. So we're going to start this out with a little bit of lime juice. So what we'll do is we'll just cut out and squeeze three quarters of an ounce of 22 and a half milliliters directly into the glass. Now these limes are kind of small, so it will take the entire lime to do that. But usually you'll get close to one ounce if you have a lime that are all about the same standard size. Now our next ingredient for this is going to be some Angostura bitters, and we need a total of three dashes. After this, what you want to do is you want to move to your pineapple juice. Now I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice, fresh press it if you can, but you want to make sure you use something that doesn't have any added sugars. So we're going to use a total of an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Your next ingredient is Fernet Branca. Now this will give you some medicinal flavors, sort of a menthol flavor as well. And you don't need a lot of it. This is very big in Seattle. In fact, I actually love this stuff. And we need a total of five milliliters or one bar spoon. Our next ingredient is technically the base of this cocktail and it's Drambuie. So what is Drambuie? You might ask yourself as you're dusting the bottle off your back shelf because it's not one that I have a lot of use for in a lot of cocktails. It's actually a scotch based herbal liqueur. It's very sweet, very honeyed. Uh, your closest analog might be Irish mist. Now we can use an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Now our next step in the process is to shake this with some ice. So you want to make sure that you fill your mixing glass or your shaking glass with ice all the way to the top. So that way you can get a proper dilution and chill. Your next step, grab your lid, give it a good pound, flip it, shake it with a smile. And you wanna shake this for a good eight to 10 seconds hard, pop it open with the strength of a thousand pineapples and put this off to the side because our first step is now to fill this with a little bit of ice. Our next step is to add another ingredient. So we'll just fill this up here. And what we'll do is then grab our soda water and we're going to pour this directly into here. So we need a total of one ounce or 30 mils. And the reason that we actually add our soda water to this shaking vessel first is so that when we pour it into our glass with the ice, we get even disbursement throughout the entire cocktail. So all of the ingredients are all the way through. Oh, this is so absolutely pretty. It looks almost like a mango iced tea. However, we're gonna garnish it now with a little bit of orange. So you just wanna pull yourself a nice good swath for a peel. And then after you try not to drop it, give it a bit of a squirt, rub everything around the edge, take that piece off. And then we'll just twist this on top like so. Not my best garnish. Let me redo that because you know, <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I'm having one of those days apparently. So give it a little bit of a twist, place it on, anyways, place it on top. I'll make it look pretty for the actual, uh, for the thumbnail. Give yourself a straw and away we go. Really good, surprisingly. It's got some sweetness to it, a little bit of the herbaceous note. You don't get anything overpowering from any of the herbal notes. Everything blends together really, really well, like you would expect from something that Jeffrey Morgenthaler put together. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right up here.